this um, <laughs> bra, I guess you could call it. Hello starlets, I'm Sarah from Everyday Starlet. Welcome to my channel. I make videos to inspire you to be the best version of yourself and live your dreams. So if you want to be an Everyday Starlet, be sure you hit that subscribe button and be sure you hit the notification bell so you never miss one of my videos. Today we are combining two of my favorite topics, makeup and lingerie. Wouldn't think those two things would go together, but you know what? They do. Mainly because they're both designed to make you feel more fabulous. Who doesn't like that, right? Obviously, here on my YouTube channel, you all know about my obsession with makeup. But on my Instagram, I've been sharing a lot more about body positivity, uh, sharing my weight loss journey, and actually sharing my struggles with what it's like to be full busted and try to buy <laughs> bras and lingerie that actually make you feel nice and don't make you feel you're wearing an orthopedic bra. Now since Rihanna has a Fenty Beauty line and a Savage by Fenty lingerie line, I thought this was the perfect video to combine my loves of makeup and lingerie, mash them together and make one video where I review basically all of Rihanna's products. So if you're a full busted lady and you want to know if any of the Savage by Fenty lingerie is actually going to work for you, then be sure you stay tuned to the end of the video, and if that's why you're here, I will actually leave a timestamp below so you guys can check that out if you're not here for the makeup. But if you want to see how I got this makeup look and my review of some of the new and some of the old Fenty Beauty products, I'll actually be doing that review first. And I also have a giveaway, and I'm going to talk to you guys about the giveaway later on in the video. So be sure you watch the video so you don't miss that, so you can get some nice little Fenty Beauty makeup for free. But if you want to see how I got this makeup look right here and a review of some of the Fenty Beauty products, then just keep watching. Okay, so pardon the hair. I decided to go for a nice Hollywood wave and I said it before I did my makeup, so I'm gonna look a little crazy. I've got like, yeah, there you go. It's. <laughs> It's a little crazy, but anyway. I'm gonna use the Fenty Beauty foundation. I used this in my original Fenty Beauty review, not this one. The shade that I had before was actually a little bit too light for me. This is a much better shade match for me. This is the shade 8C01. Pretty name. Honestly, the packaging, if you guys haven't watched my Fenty Beauty review before or tried any Fenty Beauty, the packaging is just, it's very sleek and very minimalist, but it feels very quality. This is like a heavy glass bottle. It's just really nice. It has a pump. I actually like this foundation now that I have my appropriate shade. The only thing is, it smells a little powdery. I noticed, it was a couple weeks ago, I was actually wearing it pretty regularly. And after a few days, I had kind of a pretty bad breakout. I don't know if it was because of this foundation, but it didn't really change anything else, so I don't know. Um, I do find sometimes if I use, I'm gonna use my Clarisonic foundation brush to this on. I do notice that if I, if I use like foundations that smell powdery, a few days in a row, my skin kind of gets irritated. I don't know if that's because it's a fragrance in it that makes it smell like that, or if it's just a product that smells powdery that my skin doesn't agree with. I don't know. Um, I'm gonna use it for this video and keep my fingers crossed. Yeah, my skin's already feeling a little irritated, but we're gonna go with it. I actually do, I think it gives me great coverage. It's lightweight. I, I mean, I like it. I kind of just wish my skin liked it a little bit better. All right, I actually bought this sort of like three pack that's like a concealer, highlighter, and um, contour. I don't really remember what I thought of the concealer and highlighter, which means I probably wasn't super in love with it. I was probably very neutral about it, but I did actually kind of start to like the contour stick. This is the shade Amber. I don't know why it's called Amber because it does have sort of a grayish color and I think of Amber as being more warm. Whatever, it's Rihanna's line. She can name it whatever she wants. What I didn't like about it before when I used it, I mean, I'm not a huge fan of like cream products in general. What I didn't like about it before was when I went in to use a beauty blender, which is what I usually do with cream products, it just sort of wiped it away. It didn't seem to have much staying power. What I do is I go in um, with a brush and sort of buff it out. I probably could go in with my foundation brush, but I think that might be a little bit too much. Um, I just sort of gently buff it out. I've started to really like it, but I do have to admit it is more work than just going in with like a powder contour. I feel like I can do my powder contour a lot quicker. I feel like I get a much more sculpted look when I actually just sort of lightly buff it in with a brush. Okay, so when I heard Rihanna was coming out with a limited edition holiday line, I seriously had my eye on this because I thought it was an eyeshadow palette and I thought the 
colors looked so pretty and so beautiful and they're just some of my favorite shades because you've got like your warm sort of bronzy shades down here and then you've got like your cool tone like blues and lavenders up here and I was like yes I love this this is the eyeshadow palette I've been waiting for I ordered it I ordered two stay tuned to the end of the video to find out what I'm gonna do with the other one and then realized that uh, this is the kilowatt foil freestyle highlighter palette these are actually uh, highlighters for your face. They are not eyeshadows. But you know what? I'm gonna use these as eyeshadows because I'll be totally honest with you, I don't really see myself using any of these on my face. <laughs> I'm not judging you. If you would, I just wouldn't personally. I'm gonna go into my Fenty Beauty, um, this is my Kilowatt highlighter in Mean Money and Hustla Baby. And I believe this less shimmery shade is mean money and i'm actually it's still a shimmer but it's a little bit more of a matte shimmer and i'm just gonna put that all over my lid to just sort of set my makeup this is kind of going to be an all shimmer eyeshadow look um which may be a huge mistake i don't know but um yeah why not what are we gonna do it's makeup let's have fun i'm gonna go into this shade up here which is called cop and ice cop and ice <laughs> Cop and I'm so not cool. <laughs> I'm gonna use this kind of uh, in the crease, which, you know, this is bold. We're doing a shimmer in the crease, but you know, we're gonna do it. And I'm focusing on the outside of my eye. Look at that pigment. Wow. I cannot imagine using this on my face. I mean, certain skin tones, yes, absolutely. Um, my skin tone, absolutely not. I think that would look ridiculous as a regular highlighter on me. And I'm gonna use that same brush because I am just gonna go darker. Um, and I'm gonna go into this really dark shade right here, which is, I believe, Honey Slope. And I'm gonna kinda go over that, but just, I'm focusing just even more uh, on the outside. So we're kinda going with a little bit of like a transition Color. I'm not gonna go quite as far to the center as I did with the first shade. Now I'm gonna take this lighter shade here, a little less shimmery. This is a shade Heartburn. Sounds like an unpleasant shade. Um, and I'm gonna kinda go more in the center here. Pretty, this is a little bit too orangey for me. I like shades that are a little bit more bronzy. Um, so I'm gonna go into this original shade again, the Cop and Ice. And I'm just gonna kind of go over that because I like the shimmer bronzy shade a little bit better. Okay, I'm just gonna blend that together. Okay, so I've never tried this before. The Fenty Beauty Fly Liner Longwear Liquid Eyeliner. And it's in the shade because I'm black. I don't even know if I'm allowed to say that. So <laughs> I just wanna stay out of trouble. I hate doing my eyeliner on camera. It makes me so nervous. This is a pen tip eyeliner. The packaging is gorgeous. Very pretty. Um, so yeah, let's let's see how this works. I just stabbed myself in the eye. It could very well be my fault, not the pen. Um, this is actually quite liquidy. It's more liquidy than what I'm used to. What's that saying? If you wanna, if you wanna make God laugh, tell him your plans. It's like, if you want to make God laugh, <laughs> tell him how you think you're going to do a liquid eyeliner. Getting a little Amy Winehouse here. I feel like it's it's harder to control. So I feel like I don't think this would be a good option for someone who's a beginner with liquid eyeliner. I think if you're a beginner, you want something that's a little bit drier. I would definitely recommend the Stila. I think maybe if I had started with like some matte colors to set a base and then use these to top them, I think it might have worked better. So side note to myself. And I'm gonna take the darkest shade again and I'm going to just kind of smudge it a little bit on my lower lash line. All right, I'm gonna take a smidge of the, um, the coppery shade here and I'm just gonna smudge the center here. Okay, I just tried to fix my liquid liner and it got completely away from me. Uh, which is a little terrifying. Once you're done with the liquid liner, kids, you gotta be done with it or else you're gonna end up regretting it, I'm telling you. So I'm going into Mean Money again and I'm gonna use that as sort of a like blush highlighter, kind of like where I'd put a blush and where I would put a highlighter. Now I'm gonna go in with Hustla Baby because that's where you get the serious highlight and that is where I'm gonna put it where I'd put my highlight because that's 
Got some shimmer right there. Oh, blind ya. I'm gonna use, this is Hustler Baby again. And I'm just gonna go into my inner corners. You know what an idiot I am? I bought this brush specifically for this video. Haven't even used it yet, haven't even opened it to use with my highlighter, and I just did my highlighter and forgot to use the brush. I don't think they want me to use this brush. I think this might just be <laughs> the display piece. I don't know, how do you open this? Rihanna, help! There we go, there we go. Slips right off, okay. Uh, this is supposed to be like, uh, what do they call it? Fenty Beauty Highlight Brush. This is 120. It's supposed to perfectly contour to the cheeks. And I already did my highlighter that is like, wow. I'm actually going to use, I've used this, I don't know if I've used this in a video before, but I have used this in some makeup looks before. Um, this is the Fenty Beauty Diamond Balm uh, All Over Diamond Veil in the shade. It's only one shade, but it's called How Many Carrots. So pretty, it's like, it's like powdered diamonds. I don't think it actually is powdered diamonds. It'd be way more expensive if it was, but. Um, Okay. I don't I don't know if this brush is a must have. <laughs> I'll be honest with you, when you first put it on, it doesn't look like a whole lot, but then you'll notice like if you walk through the light and your face hits the light and it'll just like sparkle. Okay, for lips, I'm going to use my MAC Sore Lip Liner because this is my kind of go-to and I'm gonna go with a nude shade. So I'm gonna actually go in, this is one of Rihanna's new Sunna Lip Paints in the shade Unbutton. She came out with several uh, different shades of these. They're supposed to be like a nude for every skin tone. This is supposed to be like the peachy nude shade. A really unique wand. It's like almost like shaped like an hourglass with a tilt. I don't know if that's gonna pick up on camera but it's just i mean these just feel i mean the, the weight of this looks more like a nail polish than like a lipstick uh, yeah it just feels very quality although i do find this applicator to be a little strange i do really like the shade i just i know that if i didn't use the lip liner it would make me look kind of washed out and a little ghostly now i do actually think on top of this her original fenty glow gloss balm would be really pretty on this you know what i'm gonna put that on I have another thing I wanna do too, but let's just, whatever. That's pretty. That complements that beautifully. Okay, I love that. But we're gonna do something else too, because why not, we're here. This is actually the Gloss Bomb Diamond Milk Lip Gloss. It smells just as nice as the original Gloss Bomb. It's really pretty. And um, so for this, I'm just gonna put this right in the center. I think this would be really pretty all over the lips too, but you know, I'm trying not to overdo it here, but yeah, right in the center there. I am glowing right now. That This is a lot. I love highlighter, but this is definitely a lot. Okay, so this is the finished look right here. So if you guys want to know more about the Savage by Fenty lingerie line, I'm actually gonna talk about that in a minute. But if you're just here for the beauty, I have a giveaway and I'm going to be giving away some really fun Fenty beauty products, not these products because I've already used these. It will be unused products. These are just the ones that I was using in the video. I'm going to be giving away a kilowatt foil freestyle highlighter palette with all these fun colors that you saw me use in in the video and also the two diamond balm products the highlighter and the lip gloss and I didn't actually use this in the video this is just a body puff and it's just really cute I have the full-size one that she came out with a while ago but um, this is just a mini fairy balm um, it's basically like a glitter pom-pom and it's in this little holiday ornament it's just cute it smells really nice so one lucky subscriber will win all these four products the giveaway is of course for subscribers only so be sure you subscribe to my channel all the details and information on how to enter the giveaway will all be listed in the description box below so be sure you check that out so if you guys were just here for the makeup and for the giveaway thank you for watching and let me know what your favorite Fenty Beauty products are any of them that I haven't tried out or ones that you want me to try out and review let me know but if you guys want to know my review of the Savage by Fenty lingerie line then just keep watching. Okay, I figured the best way to do this review, I'm going to, or I have taken photos of me in most of this stuff, with the exception of a few products that just didn't work enough for me to even photograph, and so I'll talk to you about them, but um, my main goal with doing this lingerie review is to not get demonetized and to not show anything completely inappropriate, and I just feel like showing 
photos of me in the stuff that I could show photos of me in. Um, it just gives me a little bit more control than doing like a video footage of it. I can make sure that everything that needs to be covered is covered because some of the stuff is a little skimpy. And I will say that her bras don't technically come in sizes that fit me. Um, I don't know how high she up she goes. I want to say double D, um, which I am <laughs> well above that. Not bragging. Believe me, it comes with its own trauma. So basically her structured like underwire bras I knew were not gonna work for me. One of the things that I got that I actually fell in love with and I got in a bunch of different colors is this, I believe it's called the microfiber bralette. Everything will be linked below. And I know that this does not look like it would fit me. And when I pulled it out, I didn't think it was going to fit me at all. But this stretches so much. It is such a soft material. It, it stretches so much and it, I actually got a medium because my measurements technically said I was a medium. Um, I do kind of wish that there was more fabric in this cup area, um, but if I got a large, the band would be way too big. But this does stretch a lot, and I actually wore this for the entire day yesterday. I'm gonna be honest, it doesn't give me much support in the sense that when I walk up and down the stairs, I bounce. I definitely do. Um, but it's a bralette. So honestly, most bralettes are not going to give you like a ton of like hold and support. But this has this way of kind of like almost scooping under your boob. At least it does on me. And just really like held me. I don't know. It just kind of held me up and it was just so comfortable. The material is so soft. It's very thin. So I don't know. I haven't washed this yet. So I don't know how well it's going to hold up. It is such a thin material and I've got a lot going on that's putting a lot of pressure on it. So I'm going to be honest with you. I don't know how long something like this is going to hold up, but it feels amazing. And I wore it all day yesterday and I, I didn't even give it a second thought except like occasionally when I would like rush up and down the stairs and they'd be like, oh, well, I'm bouncing a little bit more than usual. Um, but honestly, I was sh so shocked that this was so comfortable. The reason why I got this color was because um, she had a limited selection of high-waisted bottoms, but there was this, which I just thought was so cute. Um, I have to take the tag off of it at some point. Um, but yeah, this like fishnet style with the high waist, I just thought this was so cute. And the actual bra that goes along with this was more of a structured bra that didn't come in my size. But I just thought that these two would be really cute together. Um, for those of you out there that are full busted, especially if you are, um, you're full busted but you are like a different size on the top and the bottom, like your upper body is very different than your lower body. For me, my upper body is much larger than my lower body. I carry most of my weight in my upper body. It's really great when you can kind of mix and match and sometimes like matching sets just don't work together. So you kind of have to get creative to find things that coordinate and I thought these two coordinated together really nicely. So I am actually like really pleasantly surprised with this purchase. I got that bralette in a ton of different colors. I'm not positive I'm going to keep them all which is why the tags are still on some of them um, because as much as I love it I don't know if I need them in like every color or, or can afford to keep them all in every color but I just got a bunch of them because I wasn't sure which ones I was actually going to keep but I've tried these on. Um, this is in like a lilac color and I wanted to show you this because I wanted to show you the bottoms. There were only a couple of the high-waisted bottoms that I actually liked. There is is the one here that is the microfiber high-waisted thong. I'm not a fan of thongs. I don't really find thongs comfortable at all, but this one wasn't bad. It's just like, honestly, in order for it to be as high-waisted as I like my high-waisted stuff to be, um, the thong did kind of ride up a little bit too much on me, and this did kind of cut into my sides, which I got this in a medium, and I feel like usually when I get bottoms in a medium, they don't cut into my sides as much. And they also have the microfiber in more of like a brief style that has like a full back. And these are comfortable because it's that microfiber material that is like so soft and flexible. The only thing is is that these definitely, I don't know if they did it because they don't want it to ride up, but they really kind of dig into the sides and dig into the butt. And I don't think I need to go up a size because I feel like that would make these a little bit too loose and baggy. But these are definitely going to give you a panty line. Like, without a doubt. If you don't care about that, that's fine. If you want to show off your panty line, go for it. But if you're very, like, anti-visible panty line, 
these are probably not the option for you. I actually also got the fishnet underwear that I had in the magenta color in black, and I actually got this um, prog because I thought it was gonna match. It doesn't really match, although who's really gonna be mad at me if I wear them together? Nobody will. This, um, <laughs> bra, I guess you could call it, is very see-through. I feel like I should have bought pasties if I was gonna show you this because you can obviously see right through it. I don't really know what I would do with this, but I think it's kind of cool. It's it's not something I, it's not uncomfortable um, for something that's fishnet. I feel like it's soft enough, so I didn't feel like it was irritating, although I do feel like probably, I mean, if I wore something like this all day, I feel like it probably would start to chafe. It's pretty sexy, and I, I don't have any idea what I would do with this but I think it's kind of cool and I think I might keep it. I don't know, I don't know how I would style this, maybe like over something else or under something, I don't know. I just feel like this is kind of a really unique piece and it doesn't really offer me much support, but it's kind of fun and so I think I might actually keep this. A bralette that I had really high hopes for, um, but it just didn't work. Um, was this one because it's such a pretty color and it kind of reminded me of the Casabella lacy bras that I actually reviewed in my last uh, bra video. It's got like an interesting back. This just offered no support whatsoever. It was uncomfortable, didn't fit me like around the bottom and in the bust and even though it's the same size as all the others and this lace is like a really rough material. It's be a beautiful detailing, it's a beautiful color, but this just did not work for me. I also want to talk about this robe. Um, this robe is just... Oh, this is so soft. It's it's kind of a satin, but it's not a super shiny satin. It's almost matte, but not quite matte. It is just so soft. I actually got this. I was kind of debating because size-wise with these, I'm kind of in between like a small and a medium. And this robe came in... Um, it was like an extra small slash small and then it came in like a medium slash large and then it comes in some plus sizes too And it comes in a lot of different colors, too um, I ended up going with the extra small small and I actually think this fits me Beautifully it's because I feel like most of the robes that I have like I don't mind having a big Robe that just you know kind of makes me feel cozy, um, but I like that this is sleeker It's not as baggy as some of my other robes probably because it's a smaller size the satin has a little bit of give to it so so it's not a really stiff material. I think this is called cotton candy. This outfit makes me want to spray on like my pink sugar cotton candy scented perfume. It just does. I actually think I might get this robe in blue too because I just love this so much. This robe is probably one of my favorite things in the entire haul. So a lot of you know I'm kind of obsessed with like old Hollywood starlets and there's a lot of very famous scenes of Elizabeth Taylor in a like gorgeous fitted slip. And of course, I'm sure that those slips are, she probably was sewn into them. Um, but I've kind of always been on a quest to find like a beautifully fitted, satiny, silky slip and stuff that feels really luxurious. They don't usually look luxurious on me because usually they look frumpy because I have to get one that's like so big for my top and then it just all like hangs out and bags out and whatever. But this was actually like a two-piece slip. It was like a bralette top and then a like skirt slip on the bottom. I tried this bralette. I don't have a picture of me in it. I think this was wishful thinking. I really do. Um, I wish I could show you me trying this on because it was hysterical. It's just that it was not, it wasn't appropriate to be showing on YouTube. <laughs> First of all, it's partly because the back has just this one little strap hook thing. It's just this thin little hook. The Casabella bra that I reviewed um, in my last bra video, it had like five hooks down the back. This one has one little flimsy hook on this little thing. It, no, did not work. It's beautiful. I mean, this is absolutely stunning. It did not work. And I was like putting this on and then I was like trying to fix my boob and then it would like pop out the bottom and then I would like try to fix it again and it would like pop out the top and then I would, it just, no. It did not work. It was hysterical. I was laughing at myself hysterically while I was doing it, but this does not work for me. The slip though is actually beautiful and I'm actually wearing it in the photo with a microfiber bra that I actually think doesn't go too badly with it um, because it's basically like an ivory and it has like the detailing on the lace is a slight blush color, so the bra has sort of a slight blush tone to it. This I actually had to size down. I ordered a medium originally because it looked like I was kind of on the fence and I didn't know how they would run, so I ended up going with a medium. Um, I ended up getting a small, which does pull a little bit on the top, but this is actually a, 
a very stretchy satin material. It has a lot of give to it. And the medium on me just felt like way too loose and baggy and like it wasn't sitting in the right place. Um, so I ended up going with the small. Um, and I don't, I don't have any idea what I'm gonna do with this. It's, it's soft, it's a little bit more, I'd say it's a little bit more shiny than the robe maybe. Um, but it's the same kind of like just soft satiny yumminess and again I have no idea where I would wear this or what I would even do with this but it's just so sexy and luxurious feeling that I just absolutely adore it so much so that I also got it in black again it's such an impractical purchase but um, it just it feels so sexy and luxurious now with the black Fenty actually released a few um, like satin bras that I thought they, they aren't designed to go with the slip but I thought that they might fit a little bit better than the bralette that is designed to go with the slip so there's this one that's more of like a bandeau style this one is more of a triangle style but honestly both of these not even close to fitting not and, and this one actually does have the two hooks in the back just not even close. I my my boobs were they were just popping out everywhere. They were not comfortable. They were just not not gonna work for me. So those are definitely going back. But the slip, the slip is staying with me. So I gotta say, honestly, if you're full busted, the microfiber bralettes are not completely out of the question. Not saying they're definitely gonna work for you because I feel like everybody's shape and <laughs> weight of their boobs and everything is different, but mine are pretty full and pretty heavy and I actually find it to be quite comfortable. Um, I don't know how well they're going to hold up long term. Uh, that is still up for determination. If you guys have tried any uh, Savage by Fenty lingerie, I want to know what you loved and what you didn't. Let me know. Leave a comment in the comment section below. Also let me know if there are any uh, other lingerie lines that you want me to try to test out, especially ones that cater to fuller busted women or ones that don't and you want me to try out and see if they actually have products that work for fuller busted women. Let me know. I really want to start doing more of these lingerie reviews on my channel. Um, so if you have any requests, let me know. Let's keep them clean though. So yeah, if you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, please give it a big thumbs up. A while back, I was suffering from anxiety and depression, and I truly believe that beauty and makeup and taking care of myself saved my life. And I believe it can save yours too. So if you want to be an everyday starlet, be sure you hit that subscribe button. You can follow me on all my social media channels. The links will all be in the description box below, along with links to uh, all the makeup products and all of the lingerie that I can find. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope you join me next time.